Watch this video till the end because in this video we're gonna analyze match between Tsitsipas versus Dominic Thiem and we're gonna discuss what helped Dominic Thiem win this match and as you probably already know their rivalry I don't know if you can call it rivalry is as close as it gets because Thiem is leading like 4-3 in seven matches that they've played and I believe those seven matches were in the last to in the past two years because Sisypus is like what 22 years old I believe like when he he they really kind of started playing each other when uh, Sisypus was um 20 and it's 3-2 theme was up on the on hard court right and um I think that uh when you're playing someone that often, I don't know if psychological part is really playing that big of a role, right? Because they both are not, it's not like the, the rivalry that Federer has versus Nadal or Djokovic has versus um, Nadal, again, once again, Nadal. I think this is not as psychologically like loaded, but at the same time, I feel like the first match of this particular tournament is very, very important, as uh, once again, psychologically, because it's not one of those ordinary tournaments, right? When, when, where you just lose and you just leave the tournament. First match kind of sets the tone for the rest of, um, the rest of the tournament because you have to play at least I believe three matches yeah because four people are yeah so you have to play at least three matches and it's so difficult to just go out there after the first match if you've lost it right and realize that you have at least two matches to go I mean these are top eight players but at the same time right when you're a top eight you don't want to be like the worst in the top eight and um Hopefully uh, Tsitsipas is gonna win at least one match because he's a great player But yeah, they all they played each other so much so they know each other's game pretty well They knew each other's game pretty well Actually really well and they played last time in a last and not last time they played oh, One time on the hard court in the past ATP final and I felt like this final was kind of a little bit similar because Their last match on the ATP final it was 7-6 um, once again in the first set and team won that one but the difference was that the last set was once again a tiebreaker I believe and Sisyphus won that one and what I want to really emphasize here is that theme has this incredible quality uh, like just doing great great amazing serves when he really really needs to and I believe in this match he did it as well he made like two great serves at very at the very important at the very important points um against Tsitsipas, I believe it was an, on a tiebreaker f in the first set. Maybe even when it was like 5-5, five, five. I don't remember. I'm gonna attach, probably try to attach video here if I don't get copyright claims. So Dominic Thiem has this incredible quality to serve really, really well when he needs to. In the, in the, last, um, in the last match that they played against each other, ATP finals, he did make two serves uh, two really great serves. It was either ace or just a clean winner when the score was 5-5 five, five on tiebreaker and that is something that usually really great athletes can do and it's very if you've ever played tennis if you've ever played a uh, tennis match you realize how psychological really the serve is because when you're psychologically or when you are psychologically in the right state of mind your serve is really helping you when you're not it, it, it really it's somehow it just doesn't really work but also what's important is like surf can actually give you confidence you know what I'm saying so it's very intertwined I don't know if that's the right word to use here but it's very intertwined so your psychology helps your surf and your surf helps your psychology because it makes you just that much more confident and that's what I see Dominic theme doing again and again and again even though he is not actually as tall as Tsitsipas, right? Because Tsitsipas has a very big serve, obviously. But Dominic Thiem just makes it when he really, really, really needs to make it. And in tennis, not all points are equal. And there are some points that are more important than other points. 
So that's a very, very important quality that shows mental toughness. And I noticed that when I was watching his last match against Tsitsipas in, um, in the ATP final tournament in 2018, uh, 19, I'm sorry. Another thing that I um, noticed uh, during this match is that Tsitsipas in the last set when uh, Dominic Thiem was uh, three love up, 3-0 up uh, he uh, it seemed like his energy was just not there he even at one point like when um Dominic hit uh, clean was hitting clean winner he turned around and really didn't even try to you know um, try to fight for that point and I don't know what happened it could have been just his disappointment with him. I, I don't know I honestly can't tell because if you want to analyze really someone very deeply, you have to know the baseline behavior. And I'm going to really try to watch them really closely to understand, to maybe see little details and try to uh, watch their interviews to go more in depth in my other videos. But it seemed like the energy just wasn't there for it. This was, even though technically he was fighting, but I remember him playing against I remember him playing against, I believe, Nadal when he was, um, when the score was so down for Sisyphus, but he fought like, I don't know, like as if it was his really like last, last, last match and it was insane. And I, I don't know, I didn't really see that. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, I can't, <coughs> that's just my, my opinion. I'm sorry, y'all, <coughs> but yeah. That's how I um, saw the match. What else do I want to say? Overall, it was a great match. I think both of them just like this surface really well. Um, yeah, the next next match that I'm gonna discuss is gonna be probably Nadal versus Rublev. And if you know any any anything about this channel, which I do recommend that you subscribe if you haven't already, just go to my channel and watch my other videos. I'm a huge, not a huge fan, but I'm a fan of uh, Rafael Nadal, and I really think that Rafael Nadal is gonna win this tournament because these guys are great, but um, I feel like Nadal is going to win and there are several reasons why and I'm going to discuss them in my other videos. I'm sorry, my cat is here. Ah! <laughs> he bit me. It's crazy. Yeah, so just go to my other channel and uh, not other channel, just go to my this channel and watch my other videos of um, analysis and maybe just my, my opinion. Like I, I don't always talk about psychological part of it all i sometimes just share my opinion and this video is more of like an opinion uh, type of video and i just hope that you enjoy this channel i hope you subscribe to it thank you so much for watching this video till the end and i'll see you in my next video where i discuss rublov, rublov versus versus nadal and also please share in the comment section down below what do you think about, about uh, theme versus Tsitsipas? Who is gonna... Do you guys think that maybe one of them are, is gonna become world number one? If so, who will? And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.